Fabulous 126. Welcome to another episode of Lindsay's Library. Today I'm going to be reading Chapter 5 of You Can't Eat Your Chicken Pox Amber Brown by Paula Danziger, and illustrated by Tony Ross. Let's get started. Chapter 5 Elevators Ho! I yell as we enter the elevator. There are mirrors in it. Aunt Pam looks really good. She's wearing a flowered sundress and carrying a really pretty sweater. Her long blonde hair is in one long braid and she has makeup on and this really pretty smelling perfume. On her feet are walking shoes. Aunt Pam is ready to show me London. I look in the mirror. I'm wearing a long purple shirt. The shirt is so long that it's hard to see the denim shorts underneath, uh, under them. I've got sandals on. My hair is just hanging there. I was too tired to get put, it was too tired to get put into ponytails or anything. I'm not sure that I'm ready for London. In the elevator, Aunt Pam tells me that elevators are called lifts in England. She also tells me that the lines we waited in are called queues. And there they are in the elevator. Um, I guess she's, I guess Amber's holding her knapsack or something, because that's what that looks like to me. And yeah, it's just a you know, normal elevator. <laughs> As we leave the building, I hear someone call out, Pam, welcome back. Aunt Pam turns and smiles. Amber, I want to introduce you to Mary. She's the housekeeper here and over the years has become a friend. Welcome to London, Amber. Is this your first time in our city? I smile and nod. It's Amber's first day, and we're off to see Trafalgar Square, Aunt Pam tells Mary as she takes my hand and walks up to the curb to get a, to get a cab. Even though I'm too big to hold hands anymore, I hold her hand. Amber, do you remember what I told you about cars in this country? I'm so tired, and the cars are driving on the wrong side of the road, just like Aunt Pam told me. I repeat her instructions. Look both ways. Remember that cars are on the wrong side of the road, and look down at the sidewalk where, le where, le where it will either say, look right, or look left. You also said to be careful, or I will turn into road pizza. Oh, excellent. Aunt Pam gets us a cab. We're on our way to Trafalgar Square, where the tour buses are. There is so much to remember, and I am so tired. When we get into this great big black cab, I notice that the driver is sitting where passengers in America sit. I wonder if they know that they've put the steering wheel in the wrong place. I wonder how they drive when they go to other, other countries. I wonder if I'm going to be able to sit in the car without screaming. Watch out! Scratching at a bug bite on my arm, I think about how we really are in London. The cab stops. Trafalgar Square. Here we are. And that ends chapter 5 of You Can't Eat Your Chicken Pox, Amber Brown, written by Paula Danziger and illustrated by Tony Ross. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Lindsay's Library. If you did... Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can tune in for next week's video where I'll be reading chapter 6 and other things you can do are you can check my links in the description below. The first of which is for my affiliate with Sosa Clothing. There's a promo code for that website that will give you 15% off site-wide. The promo code is LGRACE15. And there's also my merch, with the summer line is getting re-released on May 22nd, and there's a promo code for that as well. That promo code is COVID Summer, and that will get you free shipping through August 1st, 2020. And the rest of the links are my social media, my website, all those good little things. Thanks for watching, and above all else, stay fabulous. Bye!